Are you looking for extra ways to earn cash? Or maybe a sideline during retirement? We'll count down 17 creative and practical ways people in our area generate side hustle income. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments. Kicking things off with number 17, the infamous outdoor gutter and window cleaning. If you live in the countryside, you're probably familiar with the dust, dirt, and leaves that seem to multiply faster than rabbits in springtime. It's like they've held a full-blown party in your gutters and didn't bother to clean up. Or maybe a never-ending game of hide-and-seek and let's just say, they're winning. Trust me, it's a cleaning party with prime side hustle opportunities. Up next at number 16 and sticking to the theme, we have pressure washing. Now, rural properties and farm equipment have a knack for getting down and dirty. Picture this. You're equipped with a pressure washer like a superhero with their power tool, ready to take on layers of grime. You're the dirt destroyer, your mission to make sidewalks, decks, flatbed trucks, trailers, and even farm equipment like tractors twinkle brighter than a disco ball at a 70s dance party. So if you're someone who revels in the joy of transforming a mucky tractor into a shiny stallion, this side hustle is your calling. Counting down to number 15, we have the never-ending task of fence repair. Rural areas sport all sorts of fencing fashion, from wooden horse fencing to goat fencing, chicken coop fencing, and let's not forget the run-of-the-mill livestock fencing. Our 10-acre property alone has about half a mile of fencing. And let me tell you, anyone with animals seems to be in a constant fencing repair mode. It's like the fences and the livestock have a secret competition going on. Who will give up first? With so much fencing, it's often a big job that could leave a property owner feeling like they're in over their heads. And let's be real, some of us can't even hammer a nail straight, let alone repair a fence. So what do we do? We either call a friend for help or, if we're feeling particularly posh, we hire it out entirely. And here's a golden star for all those who can repair electric fencing. Those control lines always seem to break at the most inconvenient times, don't they? Once, during a thunderstorm, I swear my electric fence got a little too electric and decided to moonlight as a Tesla coil. Fun times, I tell you, fun times. So extra kudos if you can fix that without singing your eyebrows off. All right, buckle up for number 14, plowing snow. Now here's a twist. We live in Northern California where the only snow we know comes in a cone with a choice of syrup flavors. However, in colder regions, this turns into a gold mine of a side hustle. Imagine rural property owners with driveways longer than the line at the DMV or private roads that local county forgot existed. Every winter, they're on a first-name basis with Jack Frost and urgently need someone to step in with the plow for rescue. Thirteen, lucky for some, this one you'll probably recognize. It's the good old Holloway. Now, larger properties have a sneaky tendency to build up debris faster than profits by a Wall Street stockbroker. Not to mention tree trimming and the uncanny ways folks stockpile furniture and belongings. It's like a game of Tetris that got way out of hand and now they've called you in for the rescue mission. This gives you an ongoing calendar of side hustle jobs. Talk about job security, eh? For number 12, we'll shift to something a bit more fun with the world of photography. If you have photography skills, either taking pictures of people or landscapes, you've got a built-in income generator. Brides and seniors and families and new moms all love to have photo keepsakes taken in a natural setting of green fields, trees, or pretty sunsets. In our area, these photo sessions are normally sold at a flat fee, and the digital pictures are given to the client. It's economical, and if a city is nearby, you can advertise your services and draw in those seeking a touch of the countryside in their photo shoots. And here's a little tip. Even cows have a good side. Are landscapes more your thing? Taking noteworthy photographs of a local rock formation or, as in our area, the view of a waterfall from the top of a nearby mountain gives you a product you can sell online or display locally for sale. Number 11 brings us to tree trimming and firewood. The abundance of trees in rural areas makes this a potentially lucrative venture. We have nearly 1,500 trees on our property and some need trimming every year. Additionally, we have trees fall from weather events. You can earn money both by providing trimming service or by being available to handle fallen trees. Last week, we had a tree that fell from our neighbor's property onto ours. Ouch, right? It never seems to end. Well, we called a local guy to come out and take away the big trunk pieces of the tree. He cuts them up and sells cords to local residents. At number 10, we have welding, fences, storage racks, trailers, farm equipment. They all need constructing or repairing at some point. It's a rural thing. 
In our town, we have several part-time welders that can be called if you have a small job. For us last year, it was a storage rack we wanted built. In rural settings, building outdoor racks for hay and such out of heavy metal can be far better than wood due to its ability to stand up to weather and a few horse kicks. If you can wield a welding torch, you're in business, but stay alert with that torch. For goodness sake, don't weld your coffee cup to the table. Uh, and you must be wondering, how did I know about that one? Counting down to number nine, it's all about breeding. With open spaces, breeding dogs, goats, chickens, sheep, horses, or cows can generate extra cash. People come in from all directions to purchase open-range pets and livestock. If you have the space and lots of grass to help offset the cost of feeding, breeding is a rural specialty. For number eight, we're shining a light on artists. Art forms of every kind can serve as a lucrative side gig. Whether your passion lies in quilting, crafting wood signs, working with stained glass, conjuring up paintings, or constructing porch swings or bird feeders, your artistic hobby could very well be your next side hustle. Hey, and don't make me tell you what I have to tell my wife every time she pulls out all those blank canvases and painting supplies. Abstract art is not an excuse for a messy workspace. Keep it clean, stay organized. When it comes to the money-making part, don't limit yourself to selling online. Also consider farmer's markets. Particularly in rural settings, these local outdoor booth markets are prime spots for both finding and selling craftsman-type items. Number seven is the sweet spot of bees and honey. Tend to bees, jar the honey, and watch as your products fly off the shelves. We have a small local producer who sets up a table on a busy street corner near our main shopping area and attracts customers driving by, but if you produce enough, consider selling online and shipping. Yep, I'll say it again, sell online. Online selling is a theme for rural producers. If you're buying, don't worry, bees not included. At number six, we have fruits, vegetables, and nuts. This is an obvious one I'm sure you thought of when clicking on this video. Rural people tend to grow their own vegetables and plant fruit trees. In our area, many also have nut trees. So definitely you can grow your own and sell at local farmers markets to make some green while going green. More than halfway through at number five, we find barter and trading. Trade what you have for what you need. Whether it's a car for a tractor or a dozen eggs for a berry pie, rural people tend to keep track of what others might have or need. Back and forth it goes, and it's not just a way of life in rural settings, it's also a way to save. I know what they say about every item is a treasure, but even in rural areas where we recycle everything, please know your neighbor doesn't fall for the tires or art idea. Moving on to number four, we can't forget all the goat enthusiasts out there. In our vicinity, it's a common method to generate some additional income. Raise a herd of goats and subsequently rent them out for weed control. Especially in regions where fire prevention is as crucial as ours, goats can swiftly handle the task of grazing on tall weeds. Our neighbors possess a whole flock, and I must admit, observing baby goats play around on their property provides a great kickstart to our mornings. Yeah, goats are great, but don't expect them to file your taxes. Just to let you know, that joke is brought to you by our friend helping me to create this video. What? Goats? Taxes? Don't get us confused here, dear, all right? Let's stay on point. Well, on to another one you'll find obvious. Counting down to number three, we are all about chickens and eggs. Raising chickens and selling the eggs is one of the most popular ways to earn extra in rural areas. It doesn't take much space to be a chicken farmer, and eggs can be sold to neighbors or bartered for other goods. We frequently get eggs from our neighbors up the road. At number two, we find entertaining. Rural towns need entertainment too. If you can play music, sing, or perform, you're in for a good time and some extra cash. Whether it's the local Christmas party, wedding, or community event, they're always hiring local entertainers. In some ways, I think it's an ideal life for someone with these skills. I've noticed in a small community, we tend to dote on our hometown musicians. Finally, at number one, we have the most popular way to make money in a rural setting, self-sufficiency. Since we don't have as many businesses nearby, we tend to do things like cooking our own meals, repairing our own cars and equipment, and entertaining ourselves with gatherings. It's a fact. Rural folks save money this way. And as we all know, money saved is money earned. So there you have it, 17 side hustles in a rural setting. And remember, if all else fails, there's always the lottery. Thanks for watching.